Hi, my name is Julia, and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of an improper fraction. Now, an improper fraction is just a fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So the numerator is the number at the top, and the denominator is the number at the bottom. So 4 is bigger than 3. We have an improper fraction. Now, you're reading that says 4 thirds. And what I want to point out to you is that this line that makes the fraction is also a symbol for division. And that 4 thirds is the same as 4 divided by 3. So if we actually do that, if we actually divide 4 by 3, we know 3 goes into 4 one time. And we get a remainder of 1 here. So the answer, when we divide 4 by 3, we have 1 with a remainder of 1. And you might know that a remainder of 1 can be written as a fraction of the remainder with the divisor. Any remainder can be handled this way. So we can rewrite this as 1 for our whole that we have here, and the remainder of 1 being written as our remainder over our divisor, or 1 third. So 4 thirds can be rewritten as 1 and 1 third. So all you have to do is divide and figure out what your remainder is. I'll fire off just two more here for you. Uh, let's try 11 fourths. Now, 11 fourths, when we divide 11 by 4, we get 2 with a remainder of 3. And that can be rewritten as 2. And remember, the remainder can be written as the remainder over the divisor. So that would be 3 over 4 is our divisor. So 2 and 3 fourths is how we rewrite 11 fourths. Now, what if you have a fraction like 15 thirds? Well, when you divide 15 by 3, you get 5. And that is how you rewrite this fraction. So it's no longer an improper fraction. It's just that nice whole number 5. So now you know how to get rid of an improper fraction. My name is Julia. Thanks for watching.